Alright guys, thank you for checking in Stormtopia.com and the Stormtopia.com Facebook page. We're in a daily weather update right now. Of course, looking towards the disruptive storm which continues to unfold here for a lot of the nation. Here you can see the latest radar imagery showing the blue snow, the green is rain, and the pink is the rain snow line. You see, you're raining right now across most of northern Louisiana where it was a little bit of a bust in the forecast that they would see snow that did not end up occurring as you can see here. And then where, the, where it's snowing right now is Arkansas, heavy bands of snow, at times snowing as several inches per hour with even thunder snow, which I noted on Facebook last night. And that snow is now spreading through Kentucky and Tennessee. We've also got snow that's going to spread through Mississippi, although they are currently getting rain. But you're going to see those northwesterly winds kick in as the precipitation continues to fall, and they will switch over to snow and see their heavy disruptive snow in Mississippi. So here's my map of what we're going to be talking about here. Disruptive snowstorm from the central plains to the southern plains, already developing across here. You say, Nick, it's it's snowing in here, yeah, but it's not overly disruptive snow, okay? You're not snowing at several inches an hour. The plows have time to get out there, so the blue and white is disruptive snow. It might be snowing in this area, but it's not disruptive because the plows can get to you. You're not going to see too many cancellations. It's it's all you know, hunky dory. And then. What happens here is I can get you a current surface analysis. All right, I have to pull up the HPC site to show you this, but I want to talk about what happens here at the low s with the low pressure center because it's going to be crucial to what ends up happening with the storm. Oh, here, well I had I had loaded up the whole time right here. All right, here you are up to 9 p.m. this evening. I'm talking about it on my graphic here. I keep switching graphics; it's annoying. But let's just listen. The surface low right now is around 9 p.m. this evening. It's going to be here. And then around midnight to the pre-dawn hours of tomorrow morning is going to be around here. What happens at that point is it gets crushed by the upper level high. And then I can shake you out to the low pressure animation here from the HPC. Here we are by 9 p.m. this evening, west of New Orleans. Here we are at 6 feet tomorrow morning, east of New Orleans, weakening rapidly, getting crushed by this upper level dynamics. You see that high 1034 high coming into play over Texas. That's what's killing it. And what happens is that ends up crossing over central Florida. Then it redevelops off the coast and becomes a problem for the folks in eastern North Carolina because precipitation redevelops and what we're talking about here is a snow and rain event. So in terms of snowfall accumulation you know, I, w I was kind of on and off again for here, the northerly edge. I've deduced that it's probably going to be like a Norfolk, Suffolk, Virginia Beach type of event. Richmond is just not your storm. Okay, from Lynchburg to Roanoke to Richmond to Williamsburg and Lynchburg, uh, they're just not going to get it. You get southeast Virginia all the way to well east of the Smokies. That's uh, where you're at least looking at a dusting. A lot of spots getting a couple inches of snow. You might see an isolated four to five inch amount out here. And then there's going to be a rain snow line that, develop that develops to the south of there. It's all rain from central uh, South Carolina through the southern part of North Carolina. And although they could get a dusting to an inch or two on the back side, I wouldn't imagine that the precipitation would be primarily snow. It looks like primarily rain. Now this forecast isn't... I, I, you can't paint the exact rain snow line to the mile like we've done on this map, but this is just our best estimate right now. If you have any questions on the storm, leave them in the chat on stormtopia.com, and have a great day.